All right, Maverick, next in the ring is going to be 23-6, 23-7, and 23-9. And, and as we discussed in the, in the video before these, uh, man, these 23s are, are just elite um, and deep. And, and I think uh, as a crossbred breeder, um, times like this, I think it's worth mentioning that that sow uh, weaned 10 last time, weaned 14 this time and 14 very very good animals and, and i think three gilts in the ring here um that are extremely extremely good and that she's a she's a these pigs are backdrops that sounds a genesis um on trench's sister and that's 23 7 um right there on the on the screen and, and 23 7 is one that's definitely going to be a, a sale highlight i think and i think for for those of you that are going to call and want a list um of, of crossbred gilts to show this summer 23 seven is going to be right there toward the top because, um, she kind of does everything, um, in a way that that's kind of hard to explain, to be honest, and comes from a litter like this. I think certainly a future foundation, uh, kind of a female 23, nine is going to be the, the belted one there that that's just a traditional belt with the, the white back foot. And then 23, six will be the one that we saw previous, but, um, neat litter here in the 23s, uh, excited to hear what Maverick has to say about them. <clears throat> yeah, the, the 23 litter gilt on the screen may be read to me as, as one of those that was as broad and as large in terms of maybe her, her tail root and just density as any of them um, that we saw. And, and still yet um, uh, to talk about the 23-7, as Evan said, um, very, very elite type female. I'm just just one that, that looks extremely good and yet still here one that is barrel, very barrel-oriented. Um on your screen there in the dash six gilt um but again an extremely deep litter and if you're looking for females and sows i think one that um is is very much so a go-to if you've studied some of these other videos and kind of take into consideration the entire litter these 23s uh i just i just want to kind of kind of say i think from a size perspective these things appetite and ability to grow and do uh, I wouldn't be out of out of mind I think to get these to a to a mid September show and and then you know to have that kind of maturity at like a Tulsa or a Kansas City it, um I think would be would be very very good as well and and just I think a very very fun litter to study I uh, I'm interested to to look back at these you know in in a year or two and kind of see where they go and and see what happens with them because I think these are going to make some some foundational sows uh for some people across the country